Hey everyone, about a week or so ago, I made a video about this wood stove, and I was showing this fire retardant rug I bought on Amazon. It's sold by a third party, but it ships from Amazon, so it can get to you faster, I guess. This thing in the article says it's fire retardant. I'm going to read that to you, the quick article that says it, and then we're going to do a test, because I don't believe this is fireproof one bit. All right, so here's the listing from Amazon.com. Fireplace rug, stove fire mat, retardant, meaning fire retardant. It says heat resistant, ember mat, and grill mat. So you can put this under your grill when you're cooking, or you can put it in front of your fireplace for those embers that might fall out. All right, so it says this product is made out of felt. So I looked it up to see if that's fire retardant. Only if it's wool felt. And this probably isn't. The next thing the listing says about this item, perfect material. The mat is made out of absorbent material which can quickly absorb liquid. Place the mat in front of a fireplace or under the stove to capture carbon, fire, soot, and other splashes to protect your expensive home's floors and other indoor surfaces from soot and fire and can withstand the trouble of any stove. I don't believe that because I even burned a hole through it already. That's not going to protect my floor. The next thing the article says is non-slip and waterproof bottom. I may believe it's non-slip. The non-slip backing keeps the mat in the area in front of the home fireplace to prevent it from moving. The waterproof layers prevent the carbon fire mixture from overflowing and prevents any liquid or grease from penetrating. No, I don't believe any of that. Next, it says, prevent from being burned by fire. When using a fireplace at home or camping, it can prevent carbon fire and ash from splashing on the ground and causing a fire. Notice how it says it can. I, it's possible it could, but it's not really good at it. Look at the bottom sentence. It even dares to say that it is flame retardant. We're going to definitely test that out in the yard in just a few minutes. All right, the next thing, this really doesn't matter, but it talks about how it's eco-friendly and how you can clean it, stuff like that. That's stuff I really don't care about when I'm looking for a fireplace rug. All right, right now I'm going to show you a few reviews from other poor people that got it. The first one is, I expected a rug, not a thin mat. I am returning this. I actually expected it to be thin, so I'm not mad about that part. The next one, look at that. It ruined that guy's floor. Definitely not flame retardant. And look at the bottom review. Burned a hole. First ember that fell out. Just like in my situation. Everyone seeing this thing had a problem. And that's my fault. I should have read more reviews before I was done. All right, here's some more reviews. All right, here's the rest of the comments that I want to read. This rug should not be anywhere near a fire. A coal dropped out and it burned through to the carpet below, but then this guy scooped it up. Second review says an ember popped out of the fireplace and burned right through. That's the same situation I was in. Look at that picture. And the bottom one says safety. This item is not safe. Definitely not. Should not be used near a fireplace. Now we're going to get to the testing part. All right, so I was going to return this thing to Amazon. I might still do it even after my fire test because it's a giant hazard. I have not been keeping this in front of the stove. I put it right back here just for this video. I removed it the day I showed you guys. I didn't think it would be fireproof. Look at the underside of this. Some of the comments on that video said maybe it peels off. It does not. It's just a really cheap rug. And if you look at this, it looks like it would be fireproof, that gray. Maybe the top layer should be fireproof at least. Bottom layer is rubber. See that? I put something hot against it that day, and I knew it probably wasn't. Later on that day, look what happened here. A small ember fell out of the fireplace, melted its way right through the rug. And I believe this thing could even catch on fire. So that's what we're going to do in today's test. I'm going to shovel out some of that hot ash, hot embers into this bucket. We're going to go outside and suspend this in the air, held up by some logs and a wagon. And we're going to pour some ash just really lightly over it. And I bet you it's going to melt its way right through. And I fear that it may even combust. And I think this thing might be a big fire hazard. We're going to see whether or not, and we're going to give the seller a horrible review, because this is 
being sold as a fire retardant product that is supposed to be in front of your fireplace. It says that it protects the floor from ash, which it does, definitely, but it does not protect it from burning your house down. Anything this close to a stove should be fireproof. I don't think this is, and it also says it's fire retardant. So if a hot log or a big ember ever fell down here, especially without you noticing, this is a very dangerous. Let me show you myself getting some ash out of here. But first, I'm going to make sure this is far away from this when I open it. All right, so I got these nice welding gloves. They work really good with the severe heat when you're working close to the stove because it's so hot. Can't even use the poker stick for more than a few seconds. Just give it a second, get a draft. Now we can open it all the way up. Get the little shovel out, let's get some hot ash. Get a few scoops of this. I don't think the rug is going to be able to handle this. I think that's just about enough. All right, so now we have that supposed fireproof rug suspended above the ground. So I'm gonna lightly pour some ash over it and we can look at it from above and then we'll look at it from the bottom, assuming it's gonna burn right through it. Typically you're playing with the wood stove or the fireplace and a little ember will pop out, just a little piece. Just a small little hot piece. So we're just going to throw a little couple pieces on there. I can already see a few of those sinking as it's melting it. I don't think that's a good sign. Let me show you up close. Yup, look up close. The smoke coming from this smells like it could be dangerous in an enclosed space. But you see, melting right through the rug, making toxic smoke. I don't believe this has absolutely any fire retardant properties. It looks like something that may be fire retardant, but it is not. Look at that. That ember's about to fall right through. Let's look from underneath. That's about to fall right out. Look at that piece. You see it? It's making the hole bigger and bigger. It's about to fall through. Alright everyone, it looks like I have proven my point. That this thing is not fireproof. Just poured a whole bunch of hot embers onto the rug. Up, uh, up. Uh. Seriously, that's going to protect your floor like it says in that article? On Amazon really that's gonna protect your floor it's not fireproof I'm amazed it didn't catch up in flames that's what I'm trying to get it to do I'm trying to get this thing to catch on fire can we get any flame to start from that Nope, it's not lighting on fire, but it's smoking and still smoldering over here. Let's get the blowtorch out. Now anybody who has actually had a fireproof rug, it's usually made out of rock wool. You could literally throw that thing into a fire for hours and it would look exactly the same. Supposedly it would never melt at all. It would just stick around because it's made out of rocks. Yep, just made into little fibers, basically like asbestos. That's what a real fire rug is supposed to look like. This I thought I would buy because it was only 30 bucks. I assumed for 30 bucks it was just going to be really thin, which it is. 
a good fireplace rug, those things usually run $70 and up, and they're usually like half an inch thick. They're pretty thick things. And that's probably what I'm going to go ahead and buy. But I decide I don't even think I want it. I think I just want the concrete floor that I can occasionally mop. All right, we got the blowtorch out. Let's see if we can actually get it to combust at all. Yep, yeah, look at that. I guess the hot embers just weren't enough. That is burning all by itself. I thought maybe it would at least have some fire retardant abilities in the plastic, such as the spray foam in my basement insulation. That stuff, you can put a blowtorch up to it, it'll melt, but it will not stay burning independently. This is burning independently. Not doing well. And look, it is continuing to burn a bigger hole until I go ahead and put this thing out. At least it blew out pretty easily. Sometimes plastics don't do that. If I let that burn longer, I don't think I would have been able to burn it out or blow it out. I think I've proven my point that this thing is a piece of junk and should never be bought by anyone, and Amazon should remove this from their website. They're going to end up burning someone's house down having this thing. It's obviously fake. I'm going to leave this thing outside just as you see it now. Leave it for a day or two. Make sure it's completely out. I just kicked that ash around in the snow because I didn't want it killing the grass in that little spot. Time to get these logs chopped up and we'll throw those into the fire later on. I thought I would do one more fun test on this. That right there is a line leading to a pile of gunpowder. Let's see this go up. Boom! Well, that was a quick fire, so... Oh, nope, nope. Nope, I can see snow through there. I thought it actually survived that because it was such a quick burst. The other side, it barely went through. Just a little bit where the pile was. Now we got a big smiley face. Is the grass gonna grow greener there now next year? Or not, what do you think? Take a look at that. 
if I didn't notice this or notice that tiny little hole it burned in originally, this could have literally burned the house down. By the way this experiment went, it seems like it may have just smoldered, but this is still very unacceptable. Thanks for watching, everyone. Neighbors chainsawing.